And the prize this week is... Is it REO Speedwagon still? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, if you'd like to ask us a question, anyone on the show, if the answer is none of your business, you win a pair of tickets to REO Speedwagon at the Evergreen Fair. There are some rules, uh, guidelines for the questions. Eric will coach you on the phone, and uh, you can look at the website, bobrivers.com, if you want to read the official rules. I also want to say that questions about what we have done are better than questions about what we would do. In hypothetical situations. Because in a hypothetical, we can imagine anything. Mm -hmm. And everyone in this room has quite an imagination, let me tell you that. (laughs) They can imagine their way out of any difficult situation. It's time for None of Your Business! The game where you call in, ask a question, and if the response is none of your business, you win! With your hosts, Bob, Spike, Joe, and Jody. All right. And the other three. What and happened the, to other the other three? three? What? <laughs> Stop trashing us for a second. Oh. I'd like to hear questions for the other three. Someone should ask Luciana, Pedro, or Eric a question. Call 877-901-0957. Uh, Dan is first. Everyone goes to Jody first. You don't mind, right? No, go ahead. I don't know what else like there the is attention. to answer. <laughs> Dan in Seattle, go ahead. How are you doing, guys? All right, Jody, um, before you were married, how many sex partners did you have? Wow. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, have we, we lost all, all dignity? Oh, God. <laughs> Eric just said it's better to ask about what we've done. Than yeah, but you, not who we've done. Use words like whoopee and been with. <laughs> um, uh, I honestly don't have a count in my head. I'm not afraid to answer the question, but I don't have an exact number. I'd go with more than five and less than 30. How about that? Oh, less that than good enough for No, that's not good enough? Less than 30? That's pretty good. I would have, th- I would have thought you would have just said the population of Portugal, <laughs> right. smaller than that. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very All much. All right, she answered it, Dan. It's a kind of attack. Guys, upgrade the questions a little. <laughs> Please. I'm going to cancel the contest if you keep that behavior. I know you guys think I'm horrified, but I don't care. All right, okay. Krusty, hello. No, I know you don't mind. Hello! Hi, <laughs> Krusty. This question is for Senor Pedro. Pedro? Okay. Yes, sir, please. Pedro, are you, are you in there? He yes, said yes. Sir. Yes, yes. Go, go ahead. He's go standing ahead, by. Yeah. All right. Have you ever been caught pleasuring yourself in the closet? Not in the closet. <laughs> Not in the closet. You see why? Yeah, in the closet. What's a? Sorry. Now remember, once these questions are asked, they can never be asked again. That's, That's a, a good thing about getting yeah, those really out of the way. Yeah. None of your business. The weird thing is that is your business, to Pedro. Okay, eight seven seven nine zero one zero nine five seven. To Brent we go in Sultan. Uh, Brent, go ahead. Uh, yes, for for you, Bob. Are you for or against gay marriages? Uh, well, I'm for uh, I'm for all people uh, who love each other to have uh, the same benefits and rights. So I guess I'm uh, strongly for it. On the other hand, um, I ha- I come from a heritage of the Catholic Church. And from the teachings that you know, this is not something uh, that that they accepted. So I have a lot. I have conflicted feelings, but I have gay friends. I have been to gay weddings. I would march in the gay parade if it wasn't always inconvenient and I didn't have anything to wear. Um, so yeah, I'm totally for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Dave in Redmond. Hello. Hi there. This uh, question is for Spike. Just wondering if you've ever gone free willy while wearing a kilt at a Spike and the Impaler show. Yes. I I can't think of a time that I wasn't flying the family flags as they were down there under the kilt at a Spike and the Impaler show. Yes. Rich and Polsvo, go ahead. Yeah, Bob. Um, I'm, I, I, we know your past with... Uh, Alcoholism. Do you? I know it's an anonymous program, but do you attend meetings? Are you asking me if I go to AA meetings? Yes, sir. 
Congratulations. None of your business. <laughs> Atta boy. Well done. <laughs> Smartest kid in the room right there. That would be a, against the creed, whether you did or not, right? I mean, Why, I am the star of the meeting. <laughs> I was talking to Elton John the other day, and I said, what the hell's up with Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> My God, and that Kesha kid. When's she going to come around? <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, what are you doing here? I thought you were back on the spot. <laughs> Uh, what's that second A stand for again? I can never None remember. None of your business, Rich. Yeah. Congratulations. That was a smart question. All right. I know people at meetings are anonymous, but do you have name tags? Like, hi, my name is. <laughs> hi, I mean, my name's hi I'm Bill. This. I manage your finances. I mean, so Don't give me a know drink. each other. I mean, I, it's anonymous <laughs> outside of a meeting, but inside of a meeting, do you guys, you know. It's actually, uh, it, it, uh, some of that is up to interpretation. Anonymous doesn't mean secret necessarily because there wouldn't have been an organization if people hadn't told people about it right but specifically at the level of press radio and film which but that was before the internet they would have put the internet in there the founding fathers uh you're not supposed to uh, speak or represent any group or organization i mean nobody minds someone sharing saying hey support and 12 steps is a great idea but the, there's a sort of a line you don't cross. Is there a, like a spokesperson, a president, a media rep? There's none of that for this? And by the way, I mean, when huge... someone expresses a curiosity, you pick them up and you drive to a meeting. Well, no, I'm, <laughs> Joe, I think I'm I'm curious. Let's go take a look. <laughs> I'm curious about the hierarchy. I, mean, I better drive. Let's is, go. It's a, it's a pretty big organization. I mean, I look at like a Weight Watchers or something. Ever there's how a questionnaire many, you can fill out. By ever the way. how many members. Yeah. My situation, uh, drinking-wise, actually, is I haven't had any. So I I guess uh, from that standpoint, I'm trying to lose weight. So that's the one thing. Yeah, I've calories. Eliminated. Yeah, I have eliminated all alcoholic all right, let's calories. Let's continue with none of your business. Uh, oh, no, we don't have to. We had a winner. We did. Yep, we're done. All right. Sure.